tell me to introduce them in some way, and tonight they said, the present that you always wanted from Santa will now be given to you. That's what she said! sneak out of bed and, and do it, and then tape them back. Yes, He's sitting by himself, come on. <laughs> all right, all right, well, I think we can do something with Christmas and presents. I and, think so. You know, it's the season to be merry. And we'll get it all wrapped up. That's what she Woo. said. <laughs> very tired. <laughs> yeah, you should be tired, you know. It's not like you do anything all day but hang around and watch TV and drink beers and hang around and watch TV. But as far as that present goes, why, I have no idea how that got opened. It wasn't me. Maybe it was the elf on the shelf. <laughs> I've told you five times the elf on the shelf is on there because it was great Aunt Mary's elf on the shelf. I know, and great Aunt Mary told me about the elf on the shelf and that she is the one who comes and opens the presents. She still lives. <laughs> I'm just going to not, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the box when Amazon brings it. I'm going to put that sucker under the tree and I'm going to put a bow on top of it and that's going to be it. That's fine. You don't have to wrap it for me. That's just less work that I have to do. I can just rip it open and there it is, my very favorite Christmas present. I know you're gonna get it for me, aren't you, Buck? I know you're gonna get it for me. I can't, I can't resist you, so. <laughs> you're right. It is a set of silver-plated spurs. <laughs> see you wear them in the Hobby Lobby. <laughs> you know what? We ought to go on Sunday after, or I'm sorry, we should go on Saturday <laughs> afternoon, you know. They're not open on Sunday. I lost oh, my mind on that yeah, one. You did, because they are never open on Sunday. No, never, we should ever, not be ever, open on a Sunday. Ever. Christmas no. Eve is on Sunday. They're not going to be open. Well, that's just not going to work. Last minute deals. Well, last minute deals on a Saturday, but if I have on my spurs, then I can knock all those people out the way as I'm walking down the aisle. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. I'll get everything. You know. 
know how they mark it down to 85% off original price. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> Everything on this display, ma'am, is 85% off. Mm. Thank you. I will take that Christmas tree and, ooh, this wreath and, oh, look at those. And, oh, shopping in them spurs. Look at all the stuff I got! <laughs> Is that, that looks like a piece of cloth and some skin hanging off of that spur. Oh. And that one too. Oh, there is something on there. Where'd that come from? Did you run into anybody that you remember? Listen, I had a job to do and that was to get 85% off and I was going to get it by any means necessary. It's Hobby Lobby. It's Hobby Lobby. Do you really think we need 25 spools of garland? Yes, because I can go around the fireplace and the poles in the house and the Christmas tree and the mailbox and the windows and the bedpost and even the ham we take to your mothers. <laughs> I'm more interested in the poles we have in the house. <laughs> Right, that's in the third bedroom to the left, you know. Oh, that pole. That's our Saturday night pole. <laughs> Why do you think I go to Hobby Lobby? <laughs> you are forgiven then. Yes, well, I just wish you would wait till everybody gets up in the morning and then, you know, we can all open them at the same time and everybody can be surprised at the same time and, you know. So I need to put these back and we'll rewrap them, huh? You might want to take the skin off. <laughs> yeah, we don't want any evidence. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta go change my pajamas. Yes, because we have to put on our matching pajamas anyway for the photos. Oh, for Pete's sake. Don't it's a tradition. It's a tradition. We started this tradition. It's the Joneses' tradition that you're wanting to copy. Well, I'm trying to keep up, as I should. That's just what I do, you know? I have to make up for the lack I had in my life growing up. <laughs> it's not my fault, you know? We're gonna rehash all that again, huh? Oh, we're going there. <laughs> well, well, let's see, it is seven o'clock on Christmas morning, so yes, right on time, right on time. <laughs> Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Listen, <laughs> it was very traumatic. You know, Father, he just wanted to make it special for me and my brothers. He said, this will be the Christmas that my kids will say. It doesn't matter that my dad's never home. It doesn't matter that he only feeds us cereal on Tuesday. Yeah, 
yes, this is the Christmas for all of my kids to enjoy and remember for the rest of their lives. Dad! What? Please be careful when you go down the chimney. I'm just really worried that you're gonna get stuck. You know, that only happened once. <laughs> kids. Well, it would have helped if they hadn't had their fireplace on with it being 90 degrees outside. I still don't understand why you were going down the fireplace in the first place. Help! 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 <laughs> John, do you hear that noise? Up here! Up here! chimney. No more going out with that family. We're done. I mean, and I still can't talk to them to this day. Well, you know, they're old. Sometimes they'll die. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. You know, that's why I married you. You're so empathetic. <laughs> Yep, that's me, caring, caring. <laughs> you just like to call yourself whatever you want to, huh? Yes. Big boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got our pajamas on. Let's get the kids and get in here with this stupid picture. She been up there. Sarah! Oh my gosh, just a minute. Like I'm crying, all right? It's gonna go on the ground. Sarah, you know, we just need to talk about that social media, and I think a good objective for next year would be no social media. There's no reason a six year old needs to be on that. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm trying to get an early start. I could be bigger than a Kardashian. Oh, gosh, that's my fear. You know, six-year-olds have dreams, too. Yeah, they do. That's why they've got... Oh, my God, Ronnie, like my post. <laughs> that's why we have parents to squash those dreams. <laughs> You're very good at that. Oh, you should talk, spur lady. All right, did you get the timers at, or are we waiting on a photographer, or what? Um, that's a really good question. I didn't hire a photographer, so I suggest we go set the timer. Please go do that. Go set the timer. All right, kids, let's get this on the show. Hey, cut it out. Let's get ready. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. Are you ready? I don't think so. Just a minute. Just a minute. This is all your fault, you know. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. I think we need another take. I think so. Let's have one like we like we really love each other. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. 
<laughs> I think that was the best one that yet. That was the best one yet, yes. Thank you, kids. I know that you'll just look like angels. Yeah, Mom, I'm putting it on. I'm going to put it on Instapot here in just a minute. <laughs> You're so 2020. <laughs> just exhausted from today. It was just too much. The pictures and the presents and all the food and all of that stuff. It was a lot. It was a lot for one day. You have to put so much energy into one day. Mm -hmm. Wrapping presents, pretending to be excited at five in the morning while you're on your third cup of coffee. Mm. And then your mother's. something about my mother? Yes, we always spend Christmas with your mother. And it's, you know, it's become a lot. I just have to tell you this. It's become a lot. You know, every time we're there, all she wants to do is, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, how are you? Do you eat? Come sit down. Let me tell you what's happening. Will you fix this? Pick that up. Go do this over there. Are you working? What's wrong with the yard? Where have you been? Why is my daughter calling me crying every day. Jeez, it's almost like we don't need to go to my mom's. Well, that's what we have to deal with whenever I go. But you know what? I kind of like the old broad. Yeah. She has those nice looking spurs, too. <laughs> Wears them everywhere. Oh, yes, yeah, she does. That's why I try to avoid her, you know. I barely have a calf left as it is. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you call her crying every night? Sometimes I do. Does that bother you? Well, that does bother me. I should know why you're crying. If any reason, it's because of me. And if I'm not the one you're crying in front of, then what are you crying for? Right on the nose, baby. It is about you. Tell me. Tell me what it is. Please. It's Christmas. You look so stupid in those khaki pants that you wear all the time. And who wears an Izod shirt anymore? <laughs> Jake, Jake from State Farm wears khaki pants and an Izod shirt. He's cool. He's cool. You know, I sit at home dreaming about Jason Momoa. Aquaman. Mm. <laughs> Jason Momoa, yeah, Aquaman. Yes, and yeah. here you are patterning your life after Jason from State Farm. Well, what would you rather have? A steady, hardworking individual who's reliable and trustworthy, will even call you in the middle of the night to make sure you're okay? <laughs> <laughs> or a hunk of a man with muscles so big that he can't even fit in his clothes and long, curly, dark hair that just goes down his back and he wears a loincloth. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you make the choice sound so difficult. <laughs> I'm not sure which one I would choose, Jason. <laughs> Are, you... Mama Mama. Are you kidding? It's Jake. Jake from State Farm. <laughs> but instead, it's Louie. Louie from the living room. <laughs> well, that makes it sound a lot better. You want to know what I'm wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise me! <laughs> Khaki pants mm. and an eyes on shirt. <gasps> oh, be still, my heart.
That's what she said. <laughs> Thank you.